Welcome to our demonstration of LightTech Mobile, a new application that will allow you to remotely enter your procedures and diagnosis codes into LightTech from anywhere with an internet connection using your iPad, iPod, or iPhone. Uh, we're going to demonstrate to you today the capabilities of this new application that is available right now on the App Store for free. So what I have up on the screen right now is the LightTech iPad app with LiTech open in the background. So you can see the iPad and LiTech uh, together on the same screen. When you first log in to LiTech Mobile, you'll use the same login and password that you used to log into LiTech. So I'm going to log in, and the first screen you're going to see is a schedule. This schedule mirrors exactly what you see in LiTech. So if you see, I have the LiTech scheduler open over here uh, in, on the left-hand side, and this is LiTech Mobile, where you'll see the exact same schedule available on your, uh, on your iPad or iPhone. Some of the information that you're going to see on LiTech Mobile is the appointment start time, the stop time, and then the length of the appointment. You'll see the name of the patient, the reason for the appointment, and then the appointment check-in, check-out status. So if, for example, I were to come over here into LiTech and I were to change my status from pending to uh, waiting, they've checked in, you'll notice that the icon changes in LiTech Mobile in real time. So this icon is basically your work list showing the doctor which patients are waiting for them so that they can then go in and see the patient. Now the purpose of the LiTech mobile application is to enter super bills. So this is a, a view only view of the schedule. You're not able to create appointments or, or really do anything other than view the appointments because you're using this to drive super bill entry. Some of the other things that you'll see here on the schedule, you do have the ability to have a day view, you have a week view, where you can see all of the appointments for the week. It just so happens that I have appointments today. The rest of the week I've been on vacation. If I go back to the single day view, you'll also notice that you have the ability to see uh, for a single day the schedule for multiple providers. So there you can see those are the providers that I have scheduled today for the those are the, the patients that I have scheduled for the various providers for today. I'm going to go back to Dr. Danny Little's schedule and highlight one of my patients here. So uh, let me pick the right one. Charlie Santos. <clears throat> when you highlight your patient, you'll see on the left hand side some information. You'll see the patient's name, their copay amount, their outstanding family balance, their insurance carrier, the primary insurance carrier, the referring provider, and if you have the iPhone version of this app, it will actually allow you to call the referring provider by tapping on a button next to the referring provider's name, the appointment reason, and any appointment notes that would be given to the doctor uh, so that they're able to treat the patient properly. The way that this app is most often used is you'll select your patient by tapping on it, you'll see it highlighted in orange, and then hit enter charges over on the left hand side of the screen. After clicking on enter charges, I'm going to be brought to a screen that looks like a, a paper super bill. Now the purpose of this screen is to replicate the process that a doctor uses right now with a paper super bill, where they'll take that super bill with them into the encounter they will circle the procedure codes and the diagnosis codes that were performed during the encounter, hand it to the patient or to the biller as the, the encounter enters, at which point the biller then enters all those charges into LiTech. LiTech Mobile takes that process and makes it very, very simple and very, very fast. So if you take a look at the super bill that I have up here, I had, I had clicked on Charlie Santos's appointment and hit enter charges. Charlie's uh, super bill comes up by default. All I need to do is select my office visit, my diagnosis code of bronchitis. I did a chest x-ray while I was seeing Charlie. I want him to come back in two weeks. I hit submit. I am then given the opportunity to review the, the uh, charges as they're going in. This is an optional screen that does not have to come up if the doctor does not want to review the charges, they don't have to. 
Uh, on this screen, you can enter modifiers, units, change the date of service, change the facility if you'd like. You hit confirm, at which point you're brought back to the schedule where you'll see a green check mark indicating that Charlie's visit had had a charges entered for it. If I come over here into LIHTC and I go into my pending transactions screen and search for Charlie Santos, you will see immediately that I have uh, some transactions waiting to be reviewed by the biller in LIHTC. These transactions have not been committed to AR. They will not go on a claim. You'll notice I have uh, my date of service, my procedure code, my diagnosis code. I have a note entry that says come back in two weeks and I have the ability as a biller to review this, make sure that the modifiers are there, that the procedure codes are in the right order, that the, um, the right units are there, that the diagnosis codes are attached to the proper code. I can make any changes that I need to make sure that the bill goes out properly. Once I validate those changes and click save, that transaction is now moved out of pending transactions and is into the normal LIHTC charges and payments into the ledger and is ready to go out on a claim. So it is very, very easy for you to enter charges into LIHTC using LIHTC Mobile. Okay, so now you've seen how uh, easy it is to enter a charge into LIHTC using LIHTC Mobile. I want to show you a few more features that exist within LIHTC Mobile that will make it very easy for you to utilize. So we showed you how you can use pay the appointment scheduler to drive patient entry, but what happens if you have a patient come into the office on a walk-in basis or that you're not utilizing the LIHTC scheduler, how would you go about using LIHTC Mobile? Well, the answer to that is very simple. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll see a charges button. If you tap that button, it will take you to a blank super bill. When you're in a blank super bill, you have the ability to go up to the top and select a patient. So I'm going to tap that. If I search for a particular patient, I, it'll go through, search the LIHTC database in real time, show you the patient's name and date of birth so you can select them. And now I have a super bill ready for Steve Leishduck. Uh, even though I did not select him through the scheduler. So it does not matter where that patient uh, came from, as long as they're in the LIHTC system, you'll have the ability to bring up a super bill and enter one for them. One of the other things that uh, you can do using LIHTC Mobile is if you have a super bill that does not have all the codes on it that you need, you have the ability to create sections on the super bill with this plus, uh, as you see right here on the office visit. If I tap the plus, it allows me to search the LIHTC database for procedure or diagnosis codes. So if I tap procedure, search for the number 9, it will bring up a list of all the codes in LIHTC that match that criteria. I select the one I want and I can add it to the super bill. So it doesn't matter if a code exists within LIHTC or within your super bill or not, as long as it's in LIHTC, you have the ability to add it to a patient's super bill makes that very easy for you to, uh, to use so that you don't have to have every single code that exists on your super bill. Another couple features that I want to show you, I demonstrated your uh, quick entry of a note to come back in two weeks, but what if there's something else that you want to say to the biller or to the front desk the, as the patient is checking out? If I wanted to put the patient on bed rest, for example, I could come through, tap the little uh, blank button or blank box at the bottom of discharge instructions and I'm given the option to type whatever I want. So if I type bed rest because I want the patient to be on bed rest, I tap done, I now have a note that says bed rest that's going to be waiting in LIHTC for the person who is uh, discharging the patient, checking them out of the office at that point in time. It, another feature of LIHTC Mobile is we've created the ability for you to hyperlink to any location on the internet. So you can create a link to your e-prescribing provider where if you tap a button that says ERX, you can create. It will take you to your e-prescribing portal. You can log in, do your e-prescribing, and then come back to LIHTC Mobile where it'll ask you for a PIN. After you've entered your super bill for your patient, you'll always be brought back to the schedule, even if you entered it through the, uh, 
search for patient because this is your main work list for entering new patients. We wanted to make sure that it was very easy for doctors to go through, tap, select a patient, and go back in and enter charges for them. Finally, I want to show you how easy it is to set up your super bill. If you tap the setup button at the bottom of the screen, you're taken to a screen where you're able to uh, configure your super bill. You have the ability to add new sections. I can add a section to my super bill. I can tap that section, hold it, and move it wherever I want it to go. I can add fields or to the section, so I can add procedure codes, diagnosis codes, free text, can text, or URL. Procedure and diagnosis code will search the LIHTC database just like I did on the other screen, so I can search for nine, for example, and add as many codes as I'd like. If I want to, I can add diagnosis codes the same way. Free text is going to add those blank fields that will allow you to type any note that you'd like. Canned text will allow you to type anything like bed rest. If you don't want to have to type that out multiple times and you want to be able to very quickly enter a note, you would do that. And URL allows you to specify a name and a web link that you'd like to hyperlink to from your super bill. If I edit a section by tapping the square with the pencil in it, it gives me these green arrows where I can, or these green circles with pluses in them, where if I tap that, I can default modifiers if I would like, at which point all the doctor does is tap and that modifier is selected. You will also notice that I have the ability to default units, so I can create super bills that will allow me to very easily enter procedure codes, modifiers, units, with a single tap of the finger on the screen. If I wanted to reorder any of the items in a section, I tap these three gray boxes and that allows me to grab an item and reorder it as simple as that. Litech Mobile makes it very easy for you to customize and create a super bill that can completely replace the paper super bills you're using in your office today. It increases the speed that you can enter charges into LIHTC. We have uh, some offices that have reported back to us that they've seen a 60% increase in speed of data entry after adopting LIHTC Mobile. We're very excited about this program, hope that you are as well. If you are interested in uh, learning more about LIHTC Mobile, I would encourage you to reach out to your local value-added reseller. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.